I've been troubled with this question a lot, and the question is, whenever I see a trial, when they bring the soldiers who were under Hitler to come into trial, the question is, should we, with moral obligation, or do we have a moral obligation to bring these soldiers opera operating under Hitler's command who um, carry on acts that is immoral against a lot of people leading to a lot of death. Should we bring them to trial and what are the moral reasonings for that? Okay, the question is what should our approach be to those who fought under totalitarian systems such as that of Nazi Germany? I think absolutely we should prosecute those who were in any way influential in uh, creating or carrying out that vicious system, whether it's Nazi Germany or uh, 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 the communist Russia. The uh, people in charge, uh, the, the politicians and the uh, other leaders, uh, should be prosecuted. And with respect to Nazi Germany, they, all, they, they have been, or most of them have been, to the extent that we found them, uh, as war criminals. I think exactly the same should be done with the Soviet Union, but our culture does not attach, unfortunately, the same evil to communism as it did to, to a Nazism, even though they're essentially identical, except that communism killed many more people. Um, but they should be treated identically. As to individual soldiers, no, I don't think there's a need to go after, you know, the, the, the privates in the army uh, who were largely uh, conscripts and um, had little choice. You know, maybe they could have tried to escape. I don't say there's, no, there's not some guilt that attaches to them. But what you want to do primarily is go after the, the leaders, those in charge, those who created the system, those who sustained the system, rather than the little foot soldiers.